With the recent 1.6 update comes a variety of new additions like new crafting recipes, quests, festivals. Look, you get it, I'm running out of intros here. One of the more obvious ones is this giant tree stump that is located right next to Marty's ranch in the Cindersap forest. I briefly talked about this in a few other videos, so I thought why not make a quick guide covering the giant tree stump quest and the new neighbors that come with it. And uh, spoilers ahead of course regarding the new update. So how do you start the stump quest? This is related to a random event called the strong windstorm and has a 10% chance to trigger after constructing the greenhouse. Upon going to bed, you can hear the storm during the night and even a tree falling down. The next morning, you can see that the stump has a question mark above it. Upon clicking it, you will start the quest, the giant stump, which needs 100 hardwood to be able to repair the stump. The day after you repair the stump, a raccoon will move in. He has a series of requests that reward you with different items. His requested items mostly require you to have artisan equipment. Also some of the new additions like the fish smoker and the dehydrator. After completing one of his requests, you will have to wait at least 7 days to start a new one. Completing 8 of his requests will grant you the new good neighbor achievement. Let's take a look at the different tasks and rewards that you can get from him. The first request will require one of these 7 crab pot items and one smoked fish. The reward and requested items depend on what season you're currently playing in. For example, if you play in winter, you may have to get smoked perch or chop, and your reward will be 25 powder melon, since these only grow during winter. Also, the fish smoker recipe can be bought from Willy's shop for 10,000 gold. The second request will either be one dried fruit or juice, and one jelly or pickle. For the dried fruits, you need a dehydrator, which you can buy from Pierre's shop for 10,000 gold. Upon completing his request, he will reward you with the raccoon journal, and this is a guaranteed reward. The third request will require one bag of dried mushrooms and either five eggs, cave carrots, or white algae. This gives you the raccoon hat and is also a guaranteed reward. His fourth request can be two of the following products, either one jelly, pickles, dried fruits, juice, or five purple mushrooms. This rewards you with five fairy dust. The fifth request can be two of the following objects, 10 moss, one rusty spoon, five trash items, 99 slime, 20 bat wings, eight geodes, five frozen geodes, three magma geodes, four corals, two sea urchin, 20 bug meat, one diamond, three topas, or three ghost fish. After completing this task, he will give you the jungle tank, which is also a guaranteed reward. On a side note, you can place frog eggs inside the jungle tank. His sixth request and anything after that will require items from the first previous five requests and are chosen randomly. Here's an overview of the rewards you can get. I forgot to mention earlier, after completing the raccoon's first request, he will say that it's now time for him to find a wife, and a few days later you can see that he accomplished his goal. The raccoon's wife also has a shop that you can interact with at any time. She does not use gold, but different types of items that you can trade in for various goods. Her shop sells all the new seasonal seeds, and any item obtained as a reward from the five requests will also be added to the shop. Here's a quick overview of her completed stock. Also, the raccoon's requests are treated the same as the trash bear requests. They are not listed as actual quests in the journal and do not have a time limit on them. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the new giant stump quest and the raccoons. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a like, it helps out so much. And thanks for watching.